Hello YouTubers, Christmas greetings to you. I was trying to find a tutorial yesterday on iterating of a matrix in Python 3. I didn't find one that helped me, which turned out to be good because I spent more time solving the challenge for myself. So here's the here's the code I came up with. This is this is the first video I made like this using OBS, so please bear with me if I if I stumble a little bit. As you probably know, a matrix in Python is made using lists within a list. And here you can see we've got a matrix which has got four rows and three columns and uh, <coughs> so it's so it is in fact a list containing four lists of three elements each and each element I've I've used a little text string of numbers to show its actual coordinate so if we look at the first element it's in uh, it's in row zero, column zero. The next element in that row is in row zero, column one, and the last element in that row is in row zero, column two. And if we look at the column, you can see that we've, we've got column one, row zero, column two, uh, sorry, Column, row 1, column 0, row 2, column 0, and row 3, column 0. So the reason that I used a 3x4 matrix was basically to help me uh, solve this problem so my code would be able to deal with any dimension matrix as long as, as, long as it's like Um, not got odd, uh, you know, like all the lists are the same size, that's what I'm trying to say. As long as all the lists are within the matrix are of the same dimension. So, um, the next part of the code, I thought, well, I need to, um, I need to be able to measure the matrix so I can then ap apply that in, in the function. And I found that if I use the len function, just on the matrix, this tells me the rows. And if I use a len uh, function on matrix position zero, that, that tells me how many columns. So, um, so uh, down here, I just wrote a couple of, uh, a couple of bits of code here. And uh, the, fir the first bit of code here in this section, it it's two nested, it's two uh, for loops nested um, to print out the coordinates of a a three by four array, um, and then and this one prints out the coordinates columns by rows so so if I just run that you'll see over here we've got um, we've got four rows three columns and you can see it's printed this one out rows by columns and then the you can see this one is columns by rows and uh, so having established a way of iterating through the coordinates I then applied that to a function so in the function we first we we measure the array using the these two rows here, these two lines of code here we incorporate that in a function then we we iterate first by row then by column and then we print out row by column and then in in the next function which prints out the 
five columns and rows, we, we start looping column by column and then row by row and we print out row by column. And uh, <coughs> yeah, you, you, uh, obviously you probably know when you're printing a uh, list out, you have to print the row and then the column. You can't, if I reverse these it, it wouldn't work, so we, we we get round that by iterating through the columns and then the rows. So anyway, let's have a look at that working. So if I just uncomment that and run it, you can see that that's printed out the actual contents of the matrix, rows by columns and then columns by rows. And I just got one more bit of code here to show you. It's just a uh, this this matrix filled with digits. It it, it just clearly shows the printing of rows and then columns. So if I just run that, you can see there you've got rows and columns and there co columns and rows. Well, <laughs> sorry I was a bit stumbly there. Um, I hope uh, I hope you have fun with this code and I hope it helps. I'll, um, I'll put a link to the actual code in the description so you can download it and have a play with it yourself. I, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Merry Christmas and God bless you.